Hello and welcome back to another edition of Tilly and Stav's House of Cards. Uh, just a one win from the weekend, so pretty disappointing. But the girls keep rolling on. Another win, 7-0. and We can't stop them. Whereas uh, in the scenes, we can't seem to snatch one losing uh, with his shot after the siren going astray. We're going around to see the players now and uh, have a chat about the heartbreaking loss and the win from the girls. A young gun inside mid from the two, Sam Dorbin. Dorby, how are you, mate? Good stuff. Good to be here. Yeah, mate. Pleasure to have you on. Uh, obviously, tough loss on the weekend to DLA. How did you say it? Um, look, they're a pretty good team. Undefeated, I think, so far. Um, we just started slow. We were down by about 50 points at half time, but had a strong second half. Got back to you know reasonable margins, so good signs coming into this weekend, Zavs. Yep. And your uh, your personal form, you love love getting in and out of the contest. You probably average about 35 contested possessions a week. Uh, how many did you rack up on the weekend? I was playing forward, so didn't get as many. But um, racked up a few more kilometres, I think, that I didn't admit. So <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Closer to goal, we know you run hard for the footy. Uh, away from footy, you love your golf. Had a uh, had an old Scotch tournament on the weekend. How'd you go? I did all right, actually. Got the uh, lowest score of the day, which was pretty handy. Um, Lockie Strathmore just behind me. I think I just pipped him at the end. So that's <laughs> no, good. Love it. That's fantastic to hear. Obviously, looking forward to uh, the Xavier game this weekend. Arch nemesis for us at home, triple header. We love that. How are you feeling for the game? Yeah, it should be a tough day. You know, Xavier, they're always hard at the footy. Um, they've always got a solid team. So hopefully they can come out strong early, get a good lead to start, and then, Jesus, and then uh, come out with the four points. It'll be brilliant. Beautiful, Dorps. Thanks for joining me, mate. Thanks, mate. Joshy, um, how are you? How's the knee? And how is training tonight? I hear you're in the ones this week for the first time in a long time. Yeah, first game back this year in the ones. Knee's travelling well. I uh, got a good blowout on the weekend and... Looking forward to getting back out there this weekend. How did it feel last week, um, getting the knee out there and everything and dusting off the cobwebs? Was it a good game? I heard you copped a bit of a bashing in the late in the third quarter. Yeah, start of the third, I think. Um, held up well, good blowout in the first quarter, and then kind of got my legs going again, got back into it. And how are you feeling um, versing old Zabs this weekend at home um, this Saturday? Um, how do you think it'll go? Can't wait, can't wait. Get into those Zabbers. Well, good luck, um, and thanks for coming on. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks, Till. Here with Harden Up from the seniors, Andrew Gelbart. Andrew, how are you, mate? Very well, thanks, Stav. And yourself? Yeah, I'm not bad, mate. Thanks for asking. No one ever asks when they come on how I'm well, feeling, but you know, I'm feeling mate, bloody good. You're a stalwart of the club, and you've just got to be looked after. You know, you do a lot for the club, and you probably don't get the recognition you deserve, so a <laughs> little plug for Stav there. Thanks a lot, mate. I didn't ask you to say that, but it was very nice, very kind words. Uh, tough game again on the weekend. We'll switch to footy. Uh, obviously 0-7 now, Dela real tough one, we had a chance to win after the siren, obviously didn't go our way again, how would you say it mate? Uh, look it's been a pretty tough start to the year, like we've been just about there with no results and it's really hard and, and you can feel the boys are, um, they're very spirited and they're trying as hard as they can but we've been so close so many times without victory it's really starting to hurt um, but we're pretty hopeful like we've got Good young blood coming through and, and um, some injury, some guys coming back from injuries in the next couple of weeks. So um, I think we should be able to get over Zavs this weekend. It should be a bloody ripping game and then hopefully an awesome night after that at the club. So looking forward to it. Yeah, beautiful, mate. And just, just on that, I know we're not getting the results on the field, but I was, I was saying to a few of the boys earlier that uh, off field we're probably closer than ever and the vibe, the energy around the club is great despite the on field results not going our way. How, how do you see it? Mate, I'm absolutely wrapped with the off-field stuff this year. You know, we've been joined by the girls, the stars, who I believe are seven and zero. Yeah. So they're absolutely crushing it. So flip side of the boys, but um, Winter Wonderland, a couple of lock-ins, like you know, the uh, the halftime spread I believe is amazing, and after after match spread is also fantastic. A number of comments from mini teams there. So I think we're pretty good off the track, to be honest. One of the best. Beautiful, uh, Gel. Thanks for joining me, mate. Good luck against Stabs this week. Not a drama. Thanks, Stab. Good man. Beck Command, also known as Alex Rance, around all the girls. Um, how are you feeling so far with being 7-0? and Pretty happy. Um, I didn't expect it, considering it's our first season ever as a full team. Um, I think we're all pres pleasantly surprised. But, um, yeah, happy to keep chugging along, winning. Not getting cocky, though. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear the coaches absolutely just 
over the moon with your efforts in the full um, back pocket. I'm just dominating with a fist every game multiple times. Um, how are you seeing your personal form? Um, okay, I'm not very fit, so I like being down back because I don't have to run much. Um, <laughs> but no, it's good. I get to uh, push some people around and they kind of hit me back a bit. But a few bruises, but we take it on the chin and keep chugging along. I think our midfield is quite strong, so a lot of my work is kind of relieved because of them. So thanks, midfield. <laughs> and how are you feeling looking forward to Old Man's Home this weekend? It's our last team that is new for us, and then we go repeat. Um, we, we go repeat with everyone else. Um, how are you feeling with that game? Um, I think we, if we play the way we play, like spreading wide, using our angles, switching a lot, we'll be fine. Um, they're, I think they're fifth or something like that. So I think we've played harder teams, but we just have to play our own game or else we might collapse under the pressure. So, yeah. Beautiful. Thanks, Rancy. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> I'm here with one of the old Scotch stars, Maddie Douglas. Maddie, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. Um, obviously on the weekend, another win for the girls, 7-0, and just tugging along very nicely. Mm -hmm. How have you seen the start to the year? Only one game for yourself so far, but how's it been? I was not counting, but thank you for the reminder. Um, yeah, doing so well. <laughs> it's so good seeing the girls getting quite a few wins. Hopefully we keep that going. Yeah. I think we'll do pretty well. Yeah, well, this weekend coming up against uh, Old Man Tone, mm -hmm. and uh, I believe big news as a selection table is that you're in for your second game. Thank Maddie? you. Yeah. yeah. What were you doing right at training that got you picked? Oh, um, my oh look, my intensity is pretty good. Yeah. I was getting right in there in duels. I usually try and run away from. Yeah. So that was probably my selling point. Fantastic. Well, I've heard word from Ryan Duke that uh, the best clubman around the around the girls and uh, really lift the spirits there. Yeah. So good luck for the weekend and uh, hope all goes well. Thank you. Very kind. Beautiful. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. And we can't wait for round eight. Go cards. Up the stars.